Cryogenic engines are often called the pinnacle of rocket propulsion, and for good reason. They use supercooled liquid fuels to generate enormous efficiency, making them essential for missions beyond Earth orbit. A cryogenic rocket engine burns a fuel and oxidizer that are normally gases, but are cooled to extremely low temperatures so they can be stored as dense liquids. This innovation revolutionized spaceflight. Today, cryogenic engines power the world's most advanced rockets. Why cryogenics? Rocket engines need massive amounts of fuel and oxidizer. Storing them as gases would require heavy, impractical tanks. But by cooling them into liquids, like liquid oxygen at minus 183 degrees Celsius and liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees Celsius, they become far denser and easier to pump into the combustion chamber. The most common combination, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, delivers the highest efficiency of any chemical rocket engine with a specific impulse up to 450 seconds. This is why engines like the RL-10 remain legendary in space history. How they work? A cryogenic engine includes turbo pumps, valves, injectors, a combustion chamber, and a large nozzle. Most use one of three cycles. A gas generator cycle, simple and powerful, ideal for boosters. A stage combustion cycle, high efficiency but mechanically complex an expander cycle, very efficient, used mainly for upper stages. Current missions and future potential. The next leap is in situ propellant production, creating rocket fuel from water ice found on the moon or Mars. This could make deep space travel routine, almost like refueling a car thousands of kilometers from home. Broader impact. Beyond space, Cryogenic technologies drive progress on Earth, influencing fields such as quantum computing and ultra-efficient power systems. Ultimately, cryogenic engines represent more than rocket hardware. They are a symbol of human ingenuity, pushing us towards new frontiers and shaping the future of space exploration.